All right, so we've got a wonderful dollar store USB car charger, which uh, 12 volt compatible, one amp. So that's extremely basic and standard, And uh, but it was a dollar, and it's got these wonderful little jewels on them. So it's probably awful, right? So here's what we're hoping for. We want a pretty good size choke in there, a chip that runs it, has a switch mode power supply and everything, and very decent looking support stuff. It'd also be nice if there was a fuse, but I highly doubt that. What we don't want is a very tiny choke, a single transistor, and enough stuff to make a very basic oscillator. And what would be hilarious to find in here is a single 20220 linear voltage regulator, which will quickly catch this thing on fire. So. See anything exciting in the back? Simply plug the USB charging cable, not included, into the USB slot of the car charger and plug the car charger in the infinity. Let's see, one of the plug and plug and zero light socket. Do not connect the car charger to the cigarette lighter of a socket before starting your vehicle. Ooh, no suppression in there. Plug in after the vehicle started and your current appliance may damage your appliances. I see, so there's no protection preventing it from the inductive spikes that'll happen when you're trying to start your car. Tricky. That's already a bad start. What's this little warning label here? Ooh. USB car charger. Uh, let's see. Oh, this is all the best part of it. Uh, input 12 volt plus or minus 5%, max 1 amp, 12 volt. Let's see. I'll put 5 volt plus or minus 5%, max 1 amp, which is 5 watts. All right. All right. Decently springy. Feels all good. This unscrews. <gasps> is that a tiny fuse? Look, it actually has a fuse. So it's the tiny one, but that's okay. Do you have any ratings on it? Yes, none that my awful eyes can read. Two amp, 250 volt rated, and wait a second. I might macro this later. It looks like there's solder on either side. Like they took it out of something that it was soldered to or something. See, it's just really gross looking. Uh, maybe that's just from the factory that it looks that bad. I don't know, but it is a fuse. No, it's not magnetic. And then it looks like we have a single screw in the back. No screwdriver small enough. Oh, and I of course got this one because blue is my favorite color. And just look how beautiful it is. Okay. It appears there is glue along the wonderful jewel part. So we'll just split this apart and see what it does. It's very springy. And da -da -da -da. Okay. I'm just breaking glue right now. <laughs> All right. And with that out of the way. All right, how's the casing? Cheap, chunky, any markings? Hilariously looks like writing in it, but other than that, nothing, so. Oh, this looks fairly acceptable. Not great, but uh, it looks real. So we've got a chip on the back, an okay looking, that is the choke, yeah, an okay looking choke. Um, pretty good looking components otherwise. Let's see what the chip is. So that's a AD85063S. So it's just a purpose built chip for this application. Uh, some data sheets look like it has a LED pin. It should be for that one there. And it's just designed for this application. So I'm guessing the only downfall is that there's uh, no filtering on the input. Let's go ahead and trace this out. Here we can see the suggested diagram. And if we pop on over to the actual unit. So here's the capacitor that's right on the input for decoupling or whatever you want to call that where it uh, stores the charge that comes in. And they want to be rated at 47 mic at 35 volts, and this one's only 25 volts at 22 microfarad, so that's pretty scary. And then for the 5 volt supplies, decoupling, slash supply, or whatever charge thing that you do for the output, uh, they suggest 100 microfarad at uh, 16 volt, and this one's uh, 2200 microfarad at only 10 volts. Um, that seems fine. I can't, I have no real way to measure the uh, inductor, but they want it to be 100 microhenries, so. Um, but yeah, it's pretty standard to the data sheet otherwise, and works as a switch mode supply. The caps are just w 
way wrong and under spec'd. Um, and again, there's nothing really protecting you on the input. There's no real filtering. Uh, two things that I think would happen is either you could uh, seriously damage um, this cap if you're, uh, I don't really know the curve on cars when you're starting in the inductive spikes, but you could probably charge this cap pretty quickly to something higher that you don't want, um, especially if there's no load on here. So I think you could damage this much faster than your device, um, but I don't know what type of suppression and stuff this chip would have and how it would pass, but either way, I mean, I wouldn't even recommend using this, but it looks like it would work. I don't know if it would work to an amp, but uh, it definitely seems like it would produce a result, but not too bad otherwise. Oh yeah, I didn't film it. This little clip just uh, its really kind of cool. It goes right on the USB connector. Ooh. Uh, so that's this little horrible monstrosity. I'm more impressed by the fact that it's a real switch mode supply, but, uh, you know, with the part that's spec'd for it, but they're obviously just cheaping out on the capacitors, and I don't know how long this thing has to live. What I like on this USB charger is they really tried to provide ample current paths along their tracks here, leaving the solder mask off and letting it just really have all that huge current through the LED and this huge current flows through the charge circuit to really get through there. They wanted to make sure they had all of the current room and everything they could on here. Just even here on the the sense part, it's not even the power. They've got it all well done. There's like spark gaps on here. They go to who knows where. It's just really thought out solder mask on here. Keep away from water slash flame. Hmm. Okay, welcome to burning shit with pyro underscore six, uh, maniac 69. My head, I kind of failed. You know, might, really well, cold out might as well just start the... This shit burn? <laughs> I thought it burned. Yeah, it's burning. Okay, there yeah, it's go. burning. Yeah, cool. Not, not quite, okay. Pyromaniac here with some tips. Uh, lighter fluid. Lighter fluid's a little better. Oh my god, it's hissing. But, but alcohol works. I mean, it works. It's working. You know, it ha alcohol. <laughs> alcohol is more of a slow burn, um, it, w rather than lighter fluid that more pops up. And if you uh, actually want, you can add add stuff from your nature environment around, like leaves and stuff. You know, you can add leaves, and it it just adds more flame. You know, like that. Uh, that was all the leaf, by the way. I didn't dump any more alcohol in that. You don't see, you don't see that shit. That actually got going pretty well. I didn't, I didn't expect the uh, alcohol to. Man, this shit burns pretty well. Ninety-one percent. Ninety-one percent. I hope your neighbors like come here. Like, I think I did see somebody on that porch over there. They're probably like, what the? F oh, it, it's all right. Burned pretty well. Oh, see, it popped the top off. It popped the top off. See this. Uh, okay, and you're gonna learn some about electronics. This little do that it plugs in your uh, car hole, and your car hole gives it electricity, and and it transfers that electricity through this doodad and into your phone. I'm an expert on this stuff, guys. I think all the alcohol's gone. Well, that lit like that's it black smoke too. Let's to zoom out a little bit. Yeah. Look at that black smoke. Yep. This is. <laughs> there goes the cap. There goes. <laughs> That's why it's said uh, keep away from water or flame. I should pee on it for the water. Yeah. Like, I guess, yeah, I guess the water is for don't. Oh, that smells delicious. <laughs> I love breathing in cancer. It's um, right towards the house, too. Thank you, wind. Oh, God. Is the door shut? You know how there wasn't a. There's not really a good seal on your door? No, the house is going to smell really cool. <laughs> is it snowing again? Well, that's our water. Oh, yeah, there's our water, the snow. Uh, so yeah, this is, uh, this has been burning. Oh man, this smells awful. Oh yeah, it's, it's pretty bad. Oh. <laughs> and, uh, there goes another cap, I guess. I don't... It was the whole board. Was it? Yeah, there it is. It's over there. I'll look at it when the fire's done. Fucking die, bitch. Actually, it smells like the snakes. 
You know those little uh, snakes you light and they grow? Yeah. That's what that smells like. Really? Well, I guess the snakes are made of cancer oh. too. No, that's the, okay, now that smell though <laughs> is, uh, I think the capacitor or something. <coughs> oh, I coughed and ashes appeared. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I gotta walk away. Oh, there is, a, there is, a, there is a, like a neighbor out. I can't believe how well that blew up. It was like a firecracker. Oh, God, stop blowing across the camera. But yeah, uh, this has been burning shit with Pyro uh, underscore Maniac 69. I guess I'll just let this die slowly. Yeah. So that was the entire board. Like, that's the full board? Yeah. It cleaned off all the components. Did it really? Uh, okay. <laughs> Damn it. Um, hold on, I got I got f focus on. Here's a, here's a, what's... Hold on. Remaining of the board. Let me change the focus real quick. I turn autofocus off. There we go. Oh. Anything left on the back? No. Nope. Well, it doesn't look like it. Just a zoom in again. Just a hot mess. <laughs> oh god. Okay. Get it? Cause yeah. fire's hot. I'll do some pictures afterwards when Satan just has the tray. I think there's too much remaining of that board, actually. Oh, bitch. There we go. That little little metallic piece is just like, yeah. I don't care. I don't give a shit. I've been through worse. I like this baking pan. This is a very good idea. Yeah. That way the alcohol kind of... Is it, is it kinda warm just, at all? Not really. It's not outputting that much warmth. No. Not like a bonfire. Because of coal bed, man. You need that coal bed for the warmth. This has also been a lesson from Survivor Man. And you need the coal bed to stay alive. Yeah, I think it's uh, I think all the burnable stuff is pretty much gone because that ship didn't even light up even though it was covered in alcohol. Yeah, it burned a little bit, so it just burned off. I guess some coating that was on it. it smells like birthday candle now. No, it smells like cancer, Nick. <laughs> I I don't know what birthday candles you use, but it still smells like cancer. Oh, I can't wait till we get, it smells just like birthday candle on my side. So maybe I, I shouldn't have birthdays anymore. Yeah, maybe we should not have <laughs> birthday candles anymore. Especially if, like, like kids are around and shit, and you're like, here, kid, blow this out. And it's, it's what do you use? Electronic components as birthday candles? It's kind of like sparking. So, there's, so it's like, um, yeah, there's some burning shit remaining, I guess. I stand over here. There's air. Oh, air. Ugh. I think that just about does it. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit. My fingers are like cold, so like. Man, alcohol burns way better than I thought. I mean, I know it burned well, but like, it makes such a really pretty fire. That's why you can have like, burning drinks or whatever served to you. Yeah, yeah. I think it's uh, done burning. <laughs> yeah, that's it. We'll just let it uh, stay out here for a bit to not smell anymore. Thank you for joining us. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. Pyro underscore maniac 69 right there. Uh, find me on Call of Duty. Uh, <laughs> I'm um, not even a gamer type. Call of Duty. Yeah, Call of Duty. <laughs> Find me on Call of Duty, uh, you know, any other and game Minecraft. where it's annoying. Yeah, Minecraft. <laughs> any other games where annoying Pug Level are found. 3 Guild in World of oh, Warcraft. Oh, yeah, World of Warcraft, of course, man. Well, Alright, I'm gonna go inside where it's warm. That poor bastard. Uh, I don't think it'd read anything now. Not sure. How about you plug it into your car? Alright, and yeah, we can try. With a USB? Plugged in. Yeah, nice expensive USB. I'm not sure. Hollowed out the USB connector. Yeah, look yeah. at it. Like, I think the the actual part that reads it fell against yeah, and, here and like and melted. melted. Yeah, the back's still pretty blue. Yeah. 
Oh yeah, I bet if we like flipped upside down, poured lighter or alcohol on oh, yeah. it, yeah, it'd probably burn. burn for a little bit more. And then here's the PCB. You can read the silk screen still. Damn, maybe we didn't do a good enough job. Nah. And this thing didn't give a shit. It's still sh <laughs> it's still shiny and everything. I like it. Spring looks fine too. Spring does look fine. Yeah, this was the yeah this was the uh, part that plugged into the. Yeah, car, part the of the back yeah. of it. The little, yeah, and the yeah, springs are what connected to back the back side. Yeah. Well, it's uh, dead. Yeah, we'll just we'll just set it right over there. Alright, let me try Fucking charcoal on my fingers. 